What comes in your mind if I ask you the question, how would you define beauty? Well, most parts of UK says that having a tan skin is considered beautiful. I mean, no kidding, Liverpool is the most tanned city with over 60% of the women applying self-tan at least five times a month. Meanwhile, if we go to Asia, most parts of Asia loves to consider a lighter or perhaps more porcelain skin tone as their definition of having the natural beauty. USA also loves tanned skin, but at the same time, they believe that a woman's body should be shaped like that of an hourglass. Curves are very much appreciated in the US, much like the Kardashian look. But in France, on the other hand, being skinny is the norm. That I said was just a huge spectrum of what is considered beautiful. If we go to the small details, like take mere, I don't know, teeth, for example. I mean, teeth, right? It's there for us so that we can speak and most importantly, eat, right? Nothing else. Um, apparently not. Because I see many teens getting frustrated over having a very bad teeth structure or a crooked teeth, henceforth not achieving that perfect smile. And they wait for so many years for that perfect teeth formation by wearing braces. Heck, even everyone's favorite actress and singer, and my favorite actress and singer as well, lovely Dove Cameron, made a post on her Instagram once saying, that she is now going to embrace her wrecked bottom teeth and she gained confidence about it. She will never fix them because they're cute. And you bet they are. We love the self-love she's promoting and we all love her for that. But what if I told you, in Japan, people actually love having crooked teeth. Having your natural teeth as the way it is is considered cute and an innocent look. Young women go to the dental clinics to make their teeth crooked and multi-layered. I mean, I don't know, I didn't do my research in this one, I probably should, but eh. I don't know if it's good for you, but you do you, boo. And let me tell you something, I didn't even knew. You need to have a perfect set of teeth to have a perfect smile until now that I'm researching on it for this video, of course. You know, which leads me to the next question. Let's say that you are insecure about something related to your body, your personality, or it could be anything. Were you always insecure about that thing? Or did you later gain insecurity about it that particular thing after you were been told that you should be insecure about it, that you should be ashamed of it, or that you should hate that about yourself by the social media, other people, your mom, dad, parents, relatives, society, what have you. I'm guessing most of you chose the second one. something do you not realize that all that baseless information that I just previously gave you and was telling you guys about the different beauty standards in different countries just shows the fact that no matter what you do or how you look different people will always have different opinions some may say having a healthy body is considered beautiful others say no be skinny no carbs required some may consider wearing makeup is pretty, while others may shout and insult about how much makeup you're wearing, say that look natural and innocent. Bottom line, no matter what you do or say, people will always judge you. They're always ready to give you 10 more reasons why you should change this or that about yourself, or why you should hate yourself 
if they even appreciated even just two things about you, they will always come up with four more things which will make you feel the most worthless piece of shit in this entire effing world. So at the end of the day, you define beauty. With all your imperfections and flaws, you define beauty with your work, with your kind heart, with your love. You are beauty. There is no perfect anything. There is no perfect definition of beauty. There are no standards. You create your own standard every single day. Everything falls under the category of meaninglessness at the end. Because like I said, different people will give different opinions on beauty. And well, if you ask me, beauty isn't having confidence. Beauty isn't showing kindness. Beauty isn't understanding that you are enough and you are imperfectly perfect the way you are. Beauty isn't knowledge. It's in loving and caring others. Beauty is in loving yourself and forgiving yourself and taking care of yourself. Beauty is in you. In every step you take, you are beauty and you are beautiful every single day.